Hey YouTube, this is Titleist07. I got this wheel horse 502 that I got. Um, it's a 1962, and uh, boy, it uh, looks a lot better than when I got it. This needed quite a bit of work. I'll, uh, I'll get into that right now. Um, first off, it did not run and it did not drive when I got it, neither. I noticed that it didn't drive because when I shifted that into gear, it didn't didn't do this. It just kept rolling. So something was wrong with the transmission. And it did not start either because that's what happens. So basically I went down to um, the, I'd say it's the central part, southern part of Mass, right above Connecticut. Picked it up for dollars and uh, I got a pretty good deal on it, but again, I took a big risk because uh, it, it had both of the things that actually make it worth something not working. So my first step was I brought it home and I sprayed a little bit of carburetor cleaner into the mouth of the carburetor and pulled the cord and it actually uh, fired a little bit. It didn't run for more than half a second, but I knew that there was some component there working, so that was good. I then cleaned the carburetor out. Actually, that's a lie. I put fuel in the gas tank, and uh, I only put a little bit in because I've learned from experience that never, ever fill a tractor's gas tank that you don't know anything about. So, no sooner than about five seconds, and all the gas was coming out of the carburetor. Someone put the bowl back on without a gasket, and uh, that's the way that goes. So. I rebuilt the carburetor, just a quick job, nothing special, um, with some used parts laying around just because I wanted to see how it would run. And uh, it ran okay, not great, it wouldn't stay running, um, but I could tell that the motor was pretty healthy. So I was happy with that, and um, it just, just something, was, something was different, like it didn't sound right. But um, my first line of uh, duty was to figure out why it wasn't driving before I went any further with the motor. So I noticed that it kind of just free pushed really easily. So I put the tractor on a jack and I spun the wheels. And it's a uni drive, so they're supposed to kind of spin like it's hard to explain. I'm not really good at explaining stuff. Um, but the way it's supposed to work is. They go in opposite directions to work for one way kind of thing, and they weren't doing that. So I took a mallet and hit both of these rims off of the axle, and they just fell right off. So I determined that it had two sheared axle keys. So I replaced the axle keys, and whoop de doo the transmission worked. So we fixed that problem. It had a snapper seat on it, which really, really aggravated me. So I went out and purchased a metal seat for it. It's not the correct one, but it's close. So I'm, I'm happy with that, I'm content. Um, also, I noticed that this battery says May 00. So May of 2000, this was probably last running, which according to my calculations, about 15 years. So, um, I figured, I usually just clean carburetors out, but this is going to be my machine, so I bought a new carburetor for it and put it on, and uh, it actually improved its running ability quite a bit better, so I was happy with that, but I noticed the more I ran it, the more the head gasket was leaking, so I put a new head gasket on it, and uh, when I had the head off, the engine looked brand new in there. So I put it all back together, ran it, ran a little bit better, and uh, it kept following plugs for some reason, and I, I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't put my finger on it until I remembered that this is a point and condenser engine. So, popped the flywheel off and uh, went in there and replaced the points and condenser, put it all back together, and whoop de doo started first pull, ran great, didn't die, still runs great. So, we got that sorted, and um, yeah, so the engine runs great, transmission works, so now for the little stuff. 
the front axle was just about falling off because the bolt was so worn. So I threw a new front axle bolt in there. Um, and the wheel bearings were just about gone on the front rims. So put uh, four new bearings in, front and back. And that seemed to tighten up the steering quite a bit. So I was happy with that. Um, and then, of course, the throttle cable broke. So I put a new throttle cable on it. And uh, this wasn't on the tractor to begin with, so I ordered one on eBay. And uh, I put a new pedal on there. So the only thing that I don't think is original, this is definitely a wheel horse steering wheel, I think. But it's not the right one. So I need to source out a, a steering wheel to really complete it. And I am almost positive the engine is not original either, but it is kind of time period correct. It's definitely old. It's from the 70s, let's say. It is pre-electronic ignition. So, I also replaced the shifter boot and tightened up the shifter uh, into the transmission a little better. So I don't have a new battery on it, nor does it key start right now, but if I hook a jumper pack up to it, it will. So without further ado, I just had it running, so. also charges which is shocking but uh, the gas tank is I don't know if you can probably see it in the way but it is like brand new in there it's so shiny it's aluminum so it should be but uh, yeah so the thing is turnkey charges starts like it's great um, I put a couple couple bucks into it to make it right but I really do like these small little wheel horses I got another one the lawn ranger and uh, I don't mind working on them and fixing them up, but uh, as you can see, my junkyard here, and I got that up there. The snow is hard packed right now, so there's quite a bit of uh, snow opportunities. But uh, if you guys have any questions about the Wheel Horse 502, feel free to ask, and if you have any information to provide to me, that'd be great too. Um, I do have access to a, I believe it's called a microfish, and uh, that's how I've been looking up the parts for this. And it's been very helpful. So, oh yeah, the brakes work too, which is, um, ooh, shit, almost just ate, ate poop, almost fell, sorry. So yeah, uh, the brakes work and everything works, it's great. So if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, that's a nice nine minute video from Titleist 07. See ya.